So every battery has a C rating and that is basically C rating is the capacity rate that the battery can can either charge or discharge. Basically just the illustration on how it will work. So if you've got a 100 amp hour battery, you can see it now as a charge to there or a discharge. If it's a 1C battery, this can go out in one hour so let's say this is an hour this is a 1c battery you can charge it and discharge it in one hour but then it's empty so although it's 5.5 kilowatts that energy is gone it can handle it but it's gone so a c a 2c battery can do it in a half an hour so it all depends on what your application is. So a 2C battery will, um, will just do it in without tripping the BMS. So um, lead acid battery can do it like this, but I don't want to because I'm going to spill it. It's just go whoop and it's gone. It can do that, but there will be so much spillage you will damage the battery. So a, a, a lead acid battery needs to do this. Then it will last. But there will always be a spillage. The cycles, you will always have waste. So this is the lead acid battery. Slowly, all the time, so if you've got a lead acid system, you cannot only use one battery. You need to put a few to supply you. Um, say, if you do the calculation, it will give you, say, for instance, 5 amps. We're going to look at some of the specs. Uh, you cannot pull more than 5 amps out of it. So 5 amps times, you know, that will give you 60, 60 watts that you can that you can pull from one battery. So if you want 120 watts out of your system, put two batteries. If you want more, 240, two, you add, need to add batteries. Uh, a 1C cell battery means that um, the discharge on the battery, will you can do it in one hour and you can charge it in one hour. So we're gonna look at a few. And then a 2C battery, that basically means that in a half an hour, you can char uh, charge and just charge the battery. I put it here basically in a, on a, on a uh, 100 amp um, hour battery. And then also, then you get, sometimes I will write this 0.5C. And that will, that says to you two hours discharge and two hours charge. And they will also show, sometimes they will say 0.5C or they will say C2. But like a lead acid battery is basically a, a C20. So that means a lead acid battery, it needs to charge for 20 hours and you need to discharge it in 20 hours. You can do it quicker, um, but it will damage your battery. Okay, I'm a picture person, so I'm also trying to, to illustrate it in a way as water. Say this is 100 liters of water that needs to go into a tank, and you've got two supplies. So this is the same as a battery, 100 amp battery, but here we've got a vim pump, which is actually our solar panels maybe, and this is a dumpel pump, our pump, and it needs to fill up. So if you've got a 1C battery, this, this is the same illustration, you can put 100 amps basically in, it will go in 100, 100 liters per hour, in an hour's time, and you can take 100 liter out. If it's a C2, you can only put 50 liters in. You have to tighten all of this. If it's a C2, you can only put 50 in at a time. And here you can only take 50 out, which is fine. 
I mean, this will take two hours now to fill, and this will take two hours to discharge uh, on a on a C2 battery. On a 2C battery, you can fill it up in half an hour, and you can take it out in a half an hour. But the, this price and that price will differ di dramatically. The one you will get for 25k. And that will be, sometimes it will be a C5 battery. So they want you to only withdraw 20 amps and only insert 20 amps to stay in your warranty. So 20 amps times 48 will give you not much, just over a kilo, say, say it's one kilowatt. But now you've got a bigger system you cannot only take one kilowatt out you've got an eight kilowatt system so you need uh from your battery you if you take a, a 1c battery a 1c battery will most probably cost you 45k for a c1 uh one 1c battery but that can supply to you a hundred amps So 100 amps times 48 will give you 4 kilowatt. If you've got the C, a 2C battery, which will say, say that, that one is 40k and you've got a 2C battery, that will only give you 50 amps. Like a, uh, sorry, not the C2. You see, it's complicated. Uh, a C2 battery, not a 2C battery. That will only give you 50 amps. But that battery can supply now 50 amps, 50 liters per, and can take 50 liters out. But that will only give you uh, 50 times 40. That will only give you 2.4 kilowatts so now you've got an 8 kilowatt system that can only supply you 2.4 kilowatts so you need to take two of them to give you 5 kilowatts you need to take three of them to supply the whole load if you've got the whole load otherwise this BMS this will illustrate basically the BMS that will control the flow that will trip if you take more of it out. Also here you've got fuses on. You need to see what batteries you have and that will also cut. Some people put the fuses or the circuit breaker, the MCCBs if it's big or the MCBs, non-polar switches, that will cut that so that you cannot pull more than that from that. So you can work it out for a certain time the battery will say to you for two minutes you can pull 100 amps after that that BMS will trip so you will put a 100 amp breaker in here but it will trip after two minutes on the BMS or if it goes more than that so if you pull five kilowatts out of this battery that will trip and your BMS will also trip but I, this is this this helped you in a way on the C rating. That's why the batteries differ. So don't say the other batteries are more expensive and this batteries are so cheap and um, you might be surprised. Your battery is going to keep on tripping. You're going to go out of your warranty. Um, you're going to want to claim it. They're going to go into the BMS and say, You're, you, you overdid it. Uh, there you overcharge it, you undercharge it. These batteries needs to be filled up basically every time before you can discharge it.